another day. And scavengers have come to the Dandora dam site in the capital city of Nairobi. This massive landfill controlled by gangs and cartels is where they make a few shillings to help make ends meet. It's a dangerous place to venture in, especially for the young ones. Many people have lost their lives here. <laughs> Scavenging in the dam site is a routine for James Okutoi. He joined the trade as a young boy in 1998 upon the death of his mother. So, I was born in 1998. I was born in the dam site. I was born in the dam site. I was He says mistreatment from his stepmother pushed him into the landfill. For Okutoi and others here, trash is a lifeline. But for cartels and gangs, it is a multi-billion shillings empire. Nezoka <laughs> In this dam site, people are killed and others maimed. They get stabbed or hit by blunt objects. It's a danger zone. And even trucks move without paying much attention. Here, it's every man for himself. Okutoi has debts to pay. And so he has no choice other than come here every morning to collect waste. He stays in the neighboring Dandora estate. A majority of his colleagues though are from Korogosho slums. Life in the informal settlement can be extremely hard and scavenging in the landfill is sometimes the only available option even for the young ones. In the dam site, collecting valuable trash can be dangerous too. People get attacked for that. This is Nairobi's only official dam site and it's under the management of the county government of Nairobi. That is how it's supposed to be. But it's only on paper. Here, gangs rule. They dictate terms of entry and the modus operandi.
everyone here must follow rules set by the gangs to the last later. There is a strict picking procedure and ranking. Trucks are usually bought even before they arrive here. Those from industrial areas are a preserve of the gangs and those who pick for them. And no one is allowed to pick from a wrong track. They are deemed to have less valuable trash. Lusu and Jiko has worked in the dam site for decades and understands the rule of the game. Unafanya tu hivi kwa mdima kwa mdima kwa mdima kwa mdima kwa mdima mpaka unapata kakazi kako hata kama sikakubwa hata kupata 100 nashukuru Mungu She knows her area of operation she can't cross the line Sababu si kupenda kwetu kwa kuja kwa takataka ni kazi tulikosa na kukuja hapa kwa takataka hivyo ni silale nje na na nisifungiwe nyumba Nikaona mzuri watoto wanafaa waende shule Hapa iko mtoto amemaliza form 4 ako hapa na hata kama ako hapa kwa bomu unaona ako ako pale pangine anafanya fanya kakazi kujaribu tu kazi ya barabara ya kuuza tumatunda hivi na mimi na mimi nabaki hapa na wale wengine wako shule bado wajatoka ni wasukume na hao wasongasonge kidogo the three things you see when you arrive inside Dandora dump site the first one are heaps of garbage this is Kenya's largest dump site and almost every single garbage from Nairobi city ends up here. The second is smoke pollution. The third are dump site workers, a group of Kenyans who come here every single day looking to earn a living. An estimated 850 tons of waste ends in the dump site every day. And truck drivers who come in must pay security and offloading fee to the gangs. It ranges between 500 and 5,000 shillings depending on the load they are carrying. They pay here at the gate. <laughs> Watu wale wanafanya kazi hapa ni watu wana kuja asubuhi, wanafanya kazi yao na wanatoka jioni. Tumekuwa na sifa mbaya kugua ati hey, dam site kuna wakora, dam site kuna nini. Lakini saa hii kutoka hata wewe uingie umeingia hapa. Sijasikia umeona mtu wamepigishwa nduru hapa ama mtu wamerepiwa. So ukweli ni kwamba watu wale wanafanya hapa kazi ni watu wanafanya kazi. Lakini siwezi eh, siwezi sema ni wote. The gangs too are owned by lords or simply cartels. Sometimes to control gangs of the dam site Fights break out. People fight with machetes and everything they've got. Winners of every single revolution control things in the massive landfill. It's like a cycle. Na tumekuwa kwa hiyo kampeni ya vijana warudishe bunduki. Ndiyo kijana na uliza atarudisha bunduki pengine ataenda wapi. Na mi nimekuwa kwa hiyo system, nimekuwa muizi before, but niliwacha. Nimekuwa family man. Na imiza vijana, wawachana, si lazima ufanya hiyo kazi. Then, after good conduct. good conduct. good conduct NYS ilipokuwa ilikuwa korokocho ilikuwa madhara ilikuwa dandora kila mahali ilikuwa imesaidia vijana sana kwa sababu hizi ilikuwa imepungua kwa sababu kijana anapata ya kuku eh, saa hizi hatuna NYS 
Sasa hivi jana wamerudi wapi? Kule kule unakuta wengine wako tu kwa system. Eh, lakini naambia vijana unaweza do kitu, unaweza lea kuku, unaweza fuga nguruwe, unaweza uza ma t-shirt. Hata isipokuwa tena ukienda kuuza t-shirt unashikwa na kanjo. Gangs here don't make lots of money as cartels do. It's a network of people and private companies who set up gangs. These companies secure lucrative contracts for waste management in the Kenyan capital city. They are worth billions of Kenyan shillings and they are a reserve of the powerful few. These are very influential people who operate in the shadows and no one dares to talk about them. They are the lords of the trash business and continuously fight off plans to establish a waste recycling company by the county government of Nairobi. Like desert wind, they blow off such attempts, leaving proposals to accumulate dust in shelves and cabinets of City Hall. From the time of the defunct city council to the advent of county governments, senior officials at City Hall have been accused of awarding irregular tenders to companies they have interests in for garbage collection and management services. Former governors Dr. Ivan Skidero and Mike Sonko have found themselves accused of scams relating to garbage services. Kenya's anti-graft body, the ESCC, has in the past reported a money trail that linked Sonko to irregular garbage tenders. At City Hall, these tenders are high bribing ones and only those with links and influence get them. For dump site workers of Dandora like Okutoi, the only way gangs and cartels will be cut off from the trash gold is by setting up recycling farms near the landfill. For example, it will take the company's orders that will keep you from the hapa. Zikuwe hapa ndani. So, ule mtu wana okota, anauza direct kwa ile kampuni kwa hapa na inamunulia kwa mbeipua. My name is Enoxikoli and I am the Kenyan historian.